Yo, what's going on, man? This is your boy, Super Mario, with Music Soul Live Showcase. I have a very special guest with me tonight. I have Miss Pollyanna. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. Hey, Ms. Aliana, I appreciate you coming on. Talking with Music Soul Live Showcase because you are a showcase contestant for the 2020 Music Soul Live Showcase, the second annual Music Soul Live Showcase, which will be, uh, you know, live streaming December 19, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Folks, this is what this is all about. We got video content for you guys to get to know uh, the showcase contestants. Hey, just to get a little side of them to see what you're going to preview on December 19, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, Aliana, before we get up into the interview, I'd like to give a shout out to the Music Soul Live Showcase and also the Glen Bavar Group for putting all of this together and making everything happen. Um, you guys can go and follow the Glen Bavar Group, which is the founder of the Music Soul Live Showcase, on Instagram, and that's at Glen Bavar Group, and that's spelled G L E N B E B E R T Group, and also Follow Music Soul Live Showcase on Instagram, Music Soul Live Showcase, all one word. And also, <laughs> check them out on Facebook, Music Soul Live Showcase as well. This video content is being brought to you by Jax Creative Media and also on the Beat Podcast. Miss Aliana, I think the people are ready to know who you are. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, cool deal. So, Miss Aliana, we were talking before the interview, and it was, I was giving you a compliment on your voice um, because of you know, your height and everything, you know, you're a short lady um, or whatnot, <laughs> but you pack a punch, you know what I'm saying, in that diaphragm and your voice is unique. Um, it has a uh, a classic sound to it, you know what I'm saying, something that will fit onto an animation uh, film um, back in the 1930s through the 50s, so mm-hmm. to speak, or whatnot. And um, that that's very unique with your voice. Um, so I was giving you a compliment and continue doing whatever you're doing, but I'm kind of curious and I know the folks are curious how does your voice shape out and when did you decide that you wanted to become a singer and what made you want to become a singer? And that probably ties into that first question. So let's just mix yeah. and mangle that and put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So honestly, I think that a lot of female singers, they start off in church. So that's exactly where I started off in church. So I started off really, really young, probably like three in church. And uh, I sang in like the youth choir, the like baby, baby choir, you know, being three, of course. And then I started to go to school from first grade to 11th grade. I entered into choir at my school. So that gave me a lot of voice control, voice direction. I sang a lot of opera type of music. I sung in like different languages. I can, I'm sorry. I got into like different competitions and stuff, like state competitions and all that kind of stuff. And I always like excelled in that kind of stuff. And so um, my choir teacher would work with me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And so I was just kind of like, maybe I should, I could maybe make singing a career because people would tell me that. And of course my dad was like, yeah, make it a career. Um, I want you in gospel though. You know, I want you in gospel, but that's just, of course, I wanted to do that, but eh, I wanted to do, I want to be both. I want to yeah, do both. Yeah. So um, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, proceed to make this career. And when I first started, it didn't start off so like fast as much as it is, as it is now. It started really slow. So I got really discouraged. So I was like, okay, I'm just focused on school. Like obviously singing is not for me. And so um, I came back a year later. And I wrote more music on top of what I wrote last year. And I was like, okay, this is, my music My music is getting better and better. I went through a few things that made my music progress like extremely. And so I was just like, okay, yeah, yeah. I got this in the back for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Well, you know, that's good that you discovered, you know what I'm saying, uh, singing um, outside of the, uh, I, I like to say when you're singing in a group, it's like a comfort zone because yeah. you only stay in one lane. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Um, when you're singing independently, it's like you have to learn how to right. make your own harmon- right. harmonies, uh, yeah. harmonies and stuff like that or whatever yeah. case may be. So I mean, you stepping out there and doing that um, or whatnot. Um, so as you progress um, to 2020, year 2020, and then, you know, we got this whole COVID situation going on. How has, um, you know, COVID, you know, helped or halter your your artistry or your brand and what adjustments you had to make along the way. Right. So COVID hindered me in a way that I didn't think it was going to. 
I was one that didn't believe that I could get COVID. I, I'm like, I'm young, I'm gonna be perfectly fine. But that was not the case. I worked around a bunch of people working at a department store and I ended up getting COVID. And um, I was stuck in my room for like a month and some change. But my parents were like so adamant of not letting me out of my room. They was like, you can't go nowhere. We're gonna put the food at the door. You're not getting out until you, you test positive. I mean, negative, I'm sorry, negative. And so um, the reason that took so long, why I was stuck so long is because the place that tested me, the results took so long to get to get back to us mm -hmm. because it was so like, so many people were getting tested for it. And so um, I ended up testing negative, you know, after a month and a half. And um, that really depressed me because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to sing anymore because I got it to where like it hindered my voice and everything to where I felt like I couldn't sing, you know? And so I started, I was able to write music, but I felt like I wasn't able to write, write music because I couldn't really sing it out. You know, like I could whisper it a little bit, but I couldn't really sing it. So I'm just like, I'm gonna end up having to become a ghostwriter for somebody. I they not gonna really hear me. Like, I'm just gonna be out, like whatever. And so, um, but that, that I like that I went through that because I was able to grow within myself and was able to write music that I know that, or I feel like others will be able to relate with, you know? Yeah. So it just gave me that time to stay in my mind and be creative and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. Well, you know, at least you had a backup plan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, well, you, were, you were planning for a black backup plan and um, I'm glad you have your voice back, number one, yeah. uh, because I, yeah. uh, I know COVID was knocking out voices. Some people, Really couldn't talk anymore. Alter speech. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was doing some weird things and whatnot. Yeah. So glad you shake. You 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 was able to shake back and you know saying be back to who you are, and that's Miss yeah. Aliana and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. and and you know, sorry that you had to go through all of that, mm -hmm. but um, it. Let me ask you a question. So when you when you had the the the, the COVID sickness sickness and everything, um, did it did it kind of like change your mindset for as how you was gonna like you know you said you was gonna plan to be a ghostwriter and stuff like that did it change your mindset to help your 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 artist skills so to speak mm -hmm. like okay I'm, i have to write harder if i'm gonna become right. a ghostwriter or i'm gonna have to back off a little bit or whatever the case may be kind of explain that just just in brief yeah i felt like i had to come 150 percent instead of 100 percent I had to come, I had to come way harder than what I was coming. Because now it's like, I don't have the voice anymore, so I gotta write. But I gotta write appealing to people that I will want to have my music, you know? Yeah. So like, I just felt like, I don't know, I I had to come like too hard, like. Yeah. Yeah. But then I felt, oh, I was okay and I was at peace with that. Because now it's like, okay, now I'm not a public, I'm not a public figure. And it's it's whatever. Now they just guys gotta write some good music. Yeah, they, so they, that's they. really all it is. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. That's it. Yeah. And well, I'm I'm glad that you, you know, saying you had to give it, you know, saying your all in order to, you know, saying continue on your path. Yeah. And right. Continuing on your path. Here you are, you know, saying doing an interview with music so right. showcase, you know. Um, so the folks, I know they I know they anxious to figure out well too. Super Mario, you said, you know, she got this classic voice. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Tell the people what you're going to be bringing to the performance showcase night. <laughs> okay. So we got our cypher, you know, our little instrumental thing. Yeah. yeah. I was Sorry like, for that. oh, oh, God. <laughs> okay. I got you because I got some music already. Like, not some stuff that I was going to drop. But I've been writing, like, like I was saying when I had COVID, I was oh, writing, 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 writing. Oh, writing. Okay, so I was okay. like, okay, I was yeah. like, oh, this sound good on that. Oh, this sound good on that. Oh, this sound huh. good on that too. I was like, okay, yeah, finna come hard. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not finna come too, too hard, you know? But I am finna come hard to where yeah. you gonna feel me, but I'm not finna just like scream to where I feel like you gotta feel me. I'm not finna do that. Yeah. And then yeah. my next song, which is a song by my choice, um, that one, it shows my range. So mm, okay. it shows my range and it shows very, very good voice control. But I'm not, 
it's not a hype hype song that I chose. I'm just really trying to show the range of my voice and the control of it and the calmness that I can have while singing it. And then the final song, that's the one that's gonna get the people hyped. They're gonna be like, oh, this girl came chill. Then okay. she gonna come over here and blows out the water with the, the range and all that <laughs> other stuff, with the 90s and all that other stuff. Yeah. And then she come with the hype stuff, like, it's good. Versatility. It's good. I'm building. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. building. Cause I don't wanna just come hard, hard, hard. And then they're gonna expect something even harder at the end, but my voice gonna be shot. Like I can't do that to myself. So I was like, I'm yeah. gonna just be soft, soft, chill. And I'm gonna come with this big thing. And they're gonna be like, oh, okay. Okay, well, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like you shoot with the pring, pring at first and then you come with the bang, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <Or not>. yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, yeah. that's what's up. And, and yeah. you know, and you, you you said, you mentioned something about, you know, your wide range and everything like that. Um, for the people that um, that really wants to follow you after, um, right. you follow your social media following uh, after this interview or whatnot, kind of describe a little bit about your your style of music. Um, mm-hmm. If you if you have one, if you fit into one or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I would say, I feel like I put myself in like three genres of music, styles of music. Um, I would say R&B and then neo soul and a little bit of hip hop. So I feel like I combined all three of those to be one genre, if that was ever a genre. So to give you like an imagery of people, I would say like Amy Winehouse, Rihanna, maybe, Beyonce, um, who else? Let me see. Erica Badu, um, Lauren Hill. I feel like I'm like a mix of those people. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. I, I think I think people people be interested and ready to check you out. That's what yeah, not. Some, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well, look. You know, <laughs> like I said, I, I'm I'm looking forward to you know your performance and. Uh, on December 19th, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hey, let the folks know what you're currently working on. Do you have any future releases? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Talk to us a little bit about your music. (laughs) So excited about that. Okay. Um, So right now I've been working on a single and it's called Sleep Paralysis. And that style is more towards like R&B, but hip hop. Like it's, that's like really, really a mixture of that because I'm, I'm singing, but at the same time, like it's like I'm sing rapping, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, just a little bit, but it's, it's good. But um, I've been working on that. I just finished my video shoot and my photo shoot for that yesterday. I've been doing photo shoots for all of that last week and the week before that. Um, Really, I've been working on that all month. Like, I just now solidified the final one that I'm going to put out to the people. Okay. Um, So I'm working on that. And then November, December, I'm focusing on my entire EP, which is going to be about five to six songs. Um, So the storyline of that all stays the same. And I like it so much because, like, I wrote that. I wrote the whole thing while I had COVID. And so... Mm. I, as I stated before, I was in like a depressed state. So it's like me coming out to the world, I'm starting off like that. But I feel like I don't want people to take me as a depressed person. It was just at that point in my life, that's how I was because I had COVID and I was stuck in my room for a month and a half. And I did not have no like social, con- like physical contact with anybody, like barely even my parents. Like it, when I, I remember when I came out of my room and like tried to like drive and stuff, I felt so nervous because I haven't driven in uh, so long. Like I hated, I didn't even want to be around people. Like I got very secluded. Like I was, I was really scared. And so, but I wrote that all, you know, at the beginning of the year. So now what I'm writing, it's totally different. Like I turned completely they're gonna be like oh this girl went from sad to happy like boom boom i'm <laughs> like yes i did <laughs> yeah 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 uh, but i mean that's that, that's good. I mean, you know, everyone has a, always remember like music is um I, and I, I music is is about displaying feelings, you know what I'm saying? Right. Displaying emotions and stuff like that and especially during these times 
um, and and how you're gonna market that or whatnot. You know, what I'm saying right. you have a story to tell that someone that 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 you can help someone go through, right. or right. you can help someone share that experience mm-hmm. in a good way and how to overcome it um, or whatnot. So you know, what I'm saying hey, it's all good. You know, what I'm saying I, every every it's like this. Don't ever be scared to not put anything out because you may be shortchanging yourself. Right, right, right. Keep right, it like right. that, man. And I'll definitely be looking for it. I know the folks are going to be looking for it, too. So yeah. let people know where they can follow you at on social media. You got the floor. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay, well, you can find me at Aliana, spelled O-L-L-I-O-N-A-H. That's all my social media platforms. Everything. 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 Mm-hmm. Everything. Everything. <laughs> All right, cool deal. And do you have a, a link tree in your profile, uh, Aliyan? A link tree? What is that? Um, kind of like a link where you, they they can kind of navigate to all your social media and yeah. also um any type of music that yeah. you uh, have online. Now that you're saying that, I gotta create that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, not not a problem, not a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not yeah. a not a problem, not a problem. Um, but we definitely will put your um your your social media handle out there, Aliana, um, and stuff like that. And I just appreciate you coming on, talking with Music Soul Live Showcase, and letting the people know who you are. And guess yes, what? Sir. You're gonna be live to the world. December 19, 7 p.m. Yes, Central Standard Time. Live on Instagram yes, and Facebook. You know what I'm saying? If mm-hmm. the people got a link, they'll be able to check you out and everything like that. <laughs> hey, yes, did you sir. did you hear about the prize package you guys will be working towards? Um, not to an entirety. Can you oh, you did? You did? Yeah. Oh yeah. man, look here, man. Look, I know you're working on the EP right now, but that extend your <laughs> your 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 opportunity to work on another EP. Um, right. Having a recorded studio package. That's pretty uh-huh. good. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you go on, you know, say, I know you said you was doing photo shoots. Okay, cool. Well, you'd be working with a photographer by the name of Gary Walker Images at Brothers right. Bad behind the camera. Like he's got mm-hmm. some sharp, sharp, sharp photos, man. Yeah. Also, I know you said you was shooting visuals and stuff like that. Well, guess what? You'll get another chance to shoot visuals with Jazz Creative Media as a complimentary oh, wow. video shoot. So that's like, I mean, you could really put together like a whole. Oh, video, right. I mean, a, a whole, excuse me, a video package, a whole, yeah. whole EP all together, man. Yeah. Um, if, if you have the chance and be blessed yeah. to um, be the winner of the 2020 yeah. Music Soul Live Showcase, second annual mm-hmm. Music Soul Live Showcase. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I, I want to extend my, uh, my gratitude and say, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Bring it on December 19th. And, um, you know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. Just appreciate you talking with Music Soul Live Showcase. Yes, Folks, make sure you go follow her. Again, uh, say your social media handle one more time. Aliana, O-L-L-I-O-N-A-H. O-L-L-I-O-N-A-H. You guys, make sure you go follow her on Instagram. Uh, Instagram is the most active uh, social media mm-hmm. handle you have? Yes, sir. Okay. That or Twitter. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Y'all definitely go check her out, man. I'm telling you guys, she she check out her old old content as well, man. Right. Uh, scroll mm-hmm. through a timeline. Uh, <laughs> look, she hey, she's got that voice. I'm I'm telling you, that voice it catching me. I'm telling to y'all, man. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Like I said, folks, um, you know, what I'm saying follow Music Soul Live Showcase on Instagram at Music Soul Live Showcase on Instagram. Follow them also on Facebook, Music Soul Live Showcase, and also follow the Glen Bavar Group, and that's. Glenn Bavar Group, all one word, G L E N B E B E R T Group, all one word, and uh, to stay up to date on any news and new developments from the Music Soul Live Showcase. This has been your boy, Super Mario, with Music Soul Live Showcase, and we're out of here. Chuck those juices up. All right, there you go. <laughs> Y'all be easy, man. <laughs> <laughs>